Congratulations. You've reached the point in the semester when we talk about rewriting or revising your dramatic writing. And I mean that congratulations. You have to write a play or a screenplay, or at least a significant section of one, before you can rewrite a play or a screenplay. You should take at least a little time to celebrate that accomplishment. Many people intend to write a play or a screenplay, but not many people do that. In fact, you may notice that not everyone who started this class with us has reached this point in the semester with us. But you have stuck with the class, and more importantly, you have stuck with the story that you set out to tell. So take a little time to congratulate yourself and to celebrate your accomplishment. Also, when it comes to rewriting your dramatic writing, there's a practical reason to take a little time away from your play or screenplay. The most common synonym for a rewrite is a revision. As the word revision communicates, an essential element of a rewrite is to look again at your writing. And taking a little time away from your writing can hopefully enable you to take a metaphorical step back from your play or screenplay so you can look again at it with fresh eyes. As Anne Lamont tells us in her excellent essay, Shitty First Drafts, the writing process requires you to be both a creator and a critic. In her analysis, writers tend to become blocked when they do not separate the creative and critical components of that process. That is, when you're writing, you should try to be a creator instead of a critic. And when you're rewriting, you should instead try to be a critic instead of a creator. Taking a little time away from your play or screenplay after you finish writing should help you to make the switch from creator to critic before you start rewriting. Now, because this is a dramatic writing class, your professor is going to assign you to rewrite your play or screenplay and to share that revision with your classmates. That's simply because part of what you're supposed to learn in a class like this is how to rewrite and how to process criticism from fellow writers, in this specific case from your professor and your classmates. But ultimately, you are not writing or rewriting this drama for your professor or for your classmates. You are writing and rewriting it for yourself. With that in mind, the first set of questions you should ask after you reread your script with those fresh eyes, the eyes of a critic, are about how you feel about it. Is this drama or this scene interesting to me? Does it say what I want it to say about my subject? That is, is it communicating my theme? Is it what I want it to be? If your drama is not yet interesting to you, if it does not yet say what you want it to say about your topic, if it is not yet what you want it to be, that's the real reason to do a rewrite. Plus, answering these questions for yourself will help you to form your own opinion of your script before you ask for the opinions of others. Because at some point in your rewriting process, it makes sense to share your writing with fellow writers whom you trust to provide you with honest and constructive criticism. Because dramatic writing is meant to be seen and heard, it makes sense to at least to have it at least read aloud for those folks. Now, you could read it out loud to them yourself, but what I recommend is to instead ask folks to read at least the character's dialogue out loud for you. And choose someone else to read the descriptions of the action and the stage directions out loud. That allows you to also see and hear your drama. Afterward, I recommend that you ask the folks who are present for that reading a version of the questions you asked yourself. What are the parts of my drama that were interesting to you? Why? What parts were not interesting to you? Why? What do you think my drama is about? What do you think I'm trying to say about that subject? Of course, those are merely examples of questions you could ask. After rereading your drama, you might have different questions that you might want to ask your fellow writers. For ideas, you could rewatch some of our previous videos for this class. For example, need, action, conflict, and stakes. <laughs> or the difference between plot and story in dramatic writing. For instance, after reviewing what we called our very dramatic little list in need, action, conflict, and stakes. Uh, you might come up with a question along the lines of, is it clear to you what needs motivate the characters to take the actions that they do? Or after rewatching the difference between plot and story in dramatic writing, 
you might come up with a question along the lines of, do you feel like I have started the plot of my drama at the right point in this character's story? Whatever questions you wind up asking, remember that you do not have to take all the suggestions that the fellow writers who provide you with constructive criticism might make. After all, they are not writing or rewriting your story. You are. When you're rewriting it, focus first on making it interesting to yourself and to your audience. Then shift your concentration to communicating your theme. After that, work on whatever elements of your drama are holding it back from being what you want it to be. How will you know when you've finished your rewrite, your revision of your drama? Simply put, you will have finished your rewriting when you can answer yes to all three of the questions you asked yourself earlier. Is this drama or the scene interesting to me? Does it say what I want it to say about my subject? That is, is it communicating my theme? Is it what I want it to be? If your drama is interesting to you, if it says what you want it to say about your topic, if it is what you want it to be, then you have finished your rewrite.